Hi everyone, my name is Alanda and welcome to Living On Zetbound. I am a 47 year old mother of six, school teacher, and I am on a weight loss journey. Currently, I am on 7.5 milligrams of Zetbound and I am completing my 19th week on the medication. Let's just be honest, I love the medication. <laughs> it's working, I'm losing weight with it. Even though this week has been a little challenging. This week has been a little different than my other weeks and we'll get into that later. But I've had to remind myself of one thing on this journey and that is I have to do things differently. Like many of us, I've done weight loss before, shoot, seven, eight times before and yet here I am again. So I need to do something different. If you want different results, do not do the same things. I've already done my mind shift change. I came up with a plan in my mind. It shifted. I know my why, my plan, how to get consistent and how to see it through. I, I got that. But unfortunately this week, my body wasn't really trying to cooperate with me. <laughs> it, was, it was doing its own thing. <laughs> I was like, hey, body, get back on this. We got a plan. And my body was like, yeah, nah, we good. We good. So let's talk about the completion of week 19. My mind shift change started with understanding my why. Why am I on a weight loss journey again? <laughs> and it's simple. Uh, I want to be here for my kids. I want to live. And I want to get back to being me. For a long time, I have been a different version of me. And it's one I'm okay with, but it's not the version I want to be. So me being on my medication or Zetbound is helping me get to where I want to be. Now, is Zetbound going to make me do it all by myself? No, I've got to put in the work. And that's where my mind shift change has come in. So I know my why, my why I want to get healthy and lose the weight. One, I need to get off all my medications. I'm on a bunch of medications for all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and I'm tired of my nightstand looking like a mini pharmacy. I'm over it. I'm done with it. So I want to get to a point where I just have one or two bottles on my nightstand, not a whole CPAP machine and you know, all these different medications. I'm, I'm really ready to get rid of that. I'm also here for my kids. My kids are my inspiration. Um, yeah, my kids are my inspiration. I am, I'm all they got. I mean, they got him, oh boy. And for anyone new to my channel, I have a roommate, significant other, father of my children, however you want to explain it, he's here and we are just co-parenting and trying to make this work. But I know my kids need me. My kids range from 26 to 10 years old. Um, I have two biological kids and four that I have adopted. So I have just lost my way. Um, I just saw myself as a mom and therefore I wore mom clothing. I was a mom, I really, I won't say let myself go, but I, I no longer was my own priority. And so being on this weight loss journey, I'm trying to make sure that I remind myself that I am my priority. Yeah, because if I can't put myself first, how am I gonna be here for them? So importance of why, plan, I have a plan, I'm working on my plan, being consistent so I can end up making this whole lifestyle change a habit and then finding a way to just be me. Finding a way to just be me. So as I think of ways to just be me, one of the biggest things that has been a hurdle in my plan is exercise. I am not one for exercise. I don't like exercise. Um, and most of that's because of my weight. Now, crazy thing is that Old Alanda, young Alanda, impressionable Alanda, loved working out. I did yoga, I, I was a cheerleader, I was on dance team, 
Um, I ran 5Ks. I love working out. But then when I put on all this weight, all that love just became hate. Like, uh-uh. You know, body's aching, ankle swelling. Um, I started breathing like crazy. Working out just wasn't my thing. And so in my plan, my weight loss journey plan, I am now to the point where I'm trying to find something that's going to be consistent for me. Friday, I went to Body 20. Body 20 is a, they don't like to call themselves a gym, so I'm not going to do that. They are a facility that you wear a body suit or what they kept calling a super suit. I kept saying, where's my super suit? So I got my super suit and I did a 12 minute, um, literally 12 minute workout. And that 12 minutes equal to or equated to a two hour workout. This again was not my first rodeo. Summer of 2023, my son and I went to a body 20 um, because at that point I was like, hey, this is gonna be my plan to lose weight. I heard it's easy, easy, I heard it's easy. So we got there, they hooked him up to the, to the body suit. They hooked me up to the body suit. He's working out, I'm working out. We're doing our thing. And mind you, as you're doing the workout, your muscles are being um, contracted. Like you're doing this and your body is like, you might be doing you know two or three sets of these, but your body is like you've done a full hour of it. Like it, it was, the thought process of this is amazing. Truly it is, it's amazing. But my son and I are doing the workout part. Everything's great. And the guy says, okay, we're gonna get to the four minute cardio. You have four minutes of cardio, right? And I'm like, okay, four minutes, that's easy. No, it wasn't easy. Please stop. Sorry, my son is over here demonstrating what happened to me. Trust me, PTSD is real. So last summer, we get to the four minutes of cardio and the room just starts spinning, like spinning. Um, I start, and I'm doing like these burpees of some sort. Um, I start losing my balance and everything just kind of went a little fuzzy after that. And people were running over to me. They unzipped me quickly. They opened up my, my, my suit. <laughs> and another lady was like bringing me water and somebody was standing me and my son's all in my face. Mom, mom, mom. Yeah. I couldn't do that four minute workout. I couldn't do it. And so from that point moving on, the idea of cardio just freaked me out. Cause one, we found out I just stopped. I, I wasn't breathing. Like I was working out, but you think breathing is natural, but I wasn't breathing. I wasn't breathing, I stopped breathing. Like I was still doing it. I just was holding my breath. And so I damn near passed out. They almost had to call EMT on me. <laughs> Like, we didn't even get to the point of how much it was or the membership. We didn't even get to none of that. They were like, she up, she's moving. Let's get her out of here. <laughs> so a year later, I was like, I'm going to go back. I'm going to do the 12 minute workout plus the four minutes of cardio. Cause I have lost, y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? I lost 40 pounds. Yes, I've lost 40 pounds. So I was determined that 40 pounds lighter, I could do that four minute cardio without having to have EMT um, put on speed out. So last Friday, um, myself and my roommate, whatever you wanna call him this week, we went and <coughs> bless you. Um, he decided to go because he and my son had both talked about what happened last, sat last summer and were like, look, um, somebody gotta go with her in case she can't make it back. So he went. Um, and they did a body scan deposit. Trust me, his looks a whole lot better than mine. See, this is where they want me in the range. That's where they want me. That's where I am. The only, the, <laughs> I kid you not, I'll make sure y'all see that. The only time that I'm in range is my water. <laughs> the only time I'm in range <laughs> is my water. And if you are returning, you know, I, I drink my water 
<laughs> I'm all over my water. I'm in range for water, but I am out of range for everything else. So he got on the scale, I'll show a quick picture. He got on the scale, he did the body mass index. His, everything is in line where it should be. I got on there, it was not. <laughs> everything was whoo. And I told the guy, I said, hey, y'all might wanna work on me when I get to the cardio. So we got to the cardio and he just kept saying, breathe, breathe, you got this. And I had it. So I'm gonna share a little bit of that with you. Like a Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. Yeah, a little person. When they, when they march. No, we're gonna go work out anyway. We have lunges in three, two, one, and lunge. Good. Lunge down, lunge down, make sure, there you go. Take your time with the going down. There you go. Good. Don't give up. Don't give up. Yep, you have got 42 seconds left, then you're done. Oh, the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. 13 seconds left with lunges. We're ending with those plank jacks. You slow down. We have plank jacks in three, two, one, and plank jacks. Finish strong, got 20 seconds left. Good. <laughs> Good. 10 seconds left. I'm doing it. Three, two, one, and. So now, I saw myself complete that cardio, gave me a sense of like, girl, you can do this, okay? You didn't pass out doing that cardio. Get up off your booty and you can do this. So since then, I've tried to do little things here at the house. Because again, I'm trying to find what I like so I can be consistent. I'm trying to find what I like so I can be consistent. Body 20, I would love to go back, but it just costs too damn much. It just does. If I wasn't already spending $550 on this medication, um, I could do, you know, $299 a month for the sessions. But yeah, I can't do $299 plus this medication right here. It's that's, y'all want to see me living on I 45 in a cardboard box, but lost weight and looking fine? <laughs> that, that would be me. Oh, who's that fine girl over there looking homeless? It's me. Hi, I'm on a weight loss journey. So um, I can't, I can't do it. I can't um, join Body 20, even though it's a great facility. I appreciated um, the workout. I was sore two days even afterwards. My body was sore. My, I mean, no joke. It looked like I may have, like when they undid the suit, it looked like I was getting an ab. I was like, oh, is that an ab? It wasn't, it was just sweat, but <laughs> it was um, a great experience. So if you have one, definitely go try out the, the membership. In my opinion, I'm not paid sponsor or anything by them, but they will give you one of your body index, um, body mass index. So I know my, my primary care doctor doesn't have one in her office. So this was a great experience for me to do it. What I hate is that last summer I shredded mine. My son's had a great my son had a great one. Mine was it was bad. So the moment I got home, I was like into the shredder. Now, 365 days later, I'm like, damn, it would have been great to compare. <laughs> and I've called that location to see if they still have it in the system. And they don't. They purge the system every six months. We will never know. I just know it was ugly. It was ugly. This one I was a little better with, but the other one is ugly. So, um, this week. So, this is week 19 for me. I'm about to give myself this shot. Um, follow along as I do it. What I'm not going to do is weigh in. 
Because I, I have weighed in. Lord have mercy, I've weighed in. I've weighed in a lot this week. Um, I have. I've weighed in a lot this week. And at this point, I'm just kind of over it. <laughs> Last week, I weighed in at 227.7. So, where am I? Right here. I was there. 227.7. That's what I weighed in last week. And um, I was happy with it. I am mean, cool. I'm in the two, I'm in two twenties. I'm in the two twenties. I've been in two twenties in four or five years when I was on Syndexta. That's last time I was in the two twenties. I got down to 180 on Syndexta and then ended up going back to two twenties. And as you know, I started this journey at 264.7, so. I've gained even more weight since then. But this week, my my body has ranged. Um, it has fluctuated um, two pounds. Every day it's fluctuated. Now, I started tracking it because my um, the normal iron pills that I take, my insurance is no longer covering it because in their mind, you can get iron pills over the counter. So I'm on a different iron pill. And if you know, you know, you start taking iron pills, you get constipated. And many of you know, when you're living on Zepbound, you can get constipated. I can get constipated and diarrhea all in the same breath. But I have been holding on to a lot of SHIT. Yeah. Some days it flows out really well. And then the next day, nothing no movement uh, and then the following day i may have a little bit of something something so my weight has literally fluctuated this week 222 wait 224.2 223.3 226.2 and then this morning i'm right back to 224.2 and this caused me to look at several things one um my salt intake. Uh, we've had some celebratory stuff this this week. So I've still been eating the way I eat, smaller portions, high in protein, but I haven't been paying attention to the salt intake and I could feel it in my fingers. Like my fingers were getting really um, tight. My ankles good, which is surprising because you know I'm on the blood thinner, but my ankles were good, but my fingers and even my mouth was starting to get really dry despite all the hydration. So I realized my sodium was really high and my new iron pills was causing massive, massive um, constipation. So with all that being said, I decided to kind of just do a self check, like what the hell am I eating? And I realized I'm really not eating my salads. Being a school teacher, I eat a salad almost every day. Now we eat salads at home for dinner. Like we do a salad, a little side salad every, I mean, at least I say every, but what, six days a week? Yeah, about six days a week, we have a side salad. And that's been the only source of fresh vegetables that I've been eating. Normally I would have a lunch salad and then a side salad. And that kind of helped me. Um, I also have my little magical ginger, lemon drink that I have. Gatorade. Yes, my nature's Gatorade, as my son calls it. That's what it said, yes. <laughs> um, I've been drinking that, but I'm not even consistent with that because I'm not home. All week I've been driving around crazy, crazy, crazy. And so that has fallen off. So again, I have a plan. I just have to put my plan back into action. I gotta work on that, like I said, number three, consistency. I got to work on my consistency because my body this week is going through it. It's, it's holding on to all my SHIT. It's holding on to it. I'm trying to tell it, let it go, let it go. And it's like, no, we're going to hold on for just a little bit longer. So, yes, excited that I've lost 40 pounds. Yeah, I did that. Um, and I'm trying to find things that I've enjoyed doing to help with the weight loss, whether it's playing and working out in the pool, um, doing weights, trying to jump rope. These girls are pretty heavy when it comes to jump roping, but I'm trying, y'all. I am trying. 
I am trying, um, but I'm trying to find something that is going to become consistent enough to become a habit for me. Like some of these people in my neighborhood that just go off and run, they just get home and run. I would love to be that person. I'm just not there yet. Whether I'll be a runner, who knows? I don't know if that's going to be me ever again because my knees are much different 20 years later than they were in my 20s. But I want to get consistent to the point where I am loving what I'm doing. Kind of like when I used to. I used to belly dance and I used to do all kinds of exercise because it was fun and I loved it. And that's what I want to get back to. So we are going to go ahead and give myself the injection. Like I said, I've already weighed myself. This is a hot mess, y'all. Because, and I, I don't know if I can do this. Last week I was 227.7, okay? My consistent number that keeps appearing all throughout the week is 224.2. So that's at a three pound weight loss for this week. I'm appreciative of it. Just understanding that day to day, I'm holding on to a lot of, S-H-I-T. <laughs> I'm holding on to a lot of it. It comes out, it comes, it's, it's this whole ordeal. So um, I'm not gonna step on the scale cause who knows, I might get a fifth different number. But then in the morning when I wake up, it goes right back to 224.2. It's so annoying. So, so, so annoying. Um, I almost went to body 20 today to stand on the scale so I could be like, look, y'all, this is my weight. Because, where is it? Like I said, last week, oh, here it is. Last week, I was... 227.7, that was Friday. And Friday when I weighed in with them, 227.3. So um, my scale is pretty accurate compared to what theirs is, but my body is holding on to salt. It is holding on to crap. Yeah, yeah, it's holding on to crap. <laughs> so, I've got to get my body used to these new iron pills um, because I'll be on them for the rest of my life, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So, let's go in, do the shot. All right, so let's go ahead and do our 7.5 um, of Zet Bound. I've already alcoholed. Now we're going to unlock. I like it. go. I'm going to do it. This will be the third time I can do it by myself. If you watch some of my other videos, one of my pins exploded. That was hot mess. It's a hot mess. Freak me out. PTSD for real. One, two, three. <sighs> nope, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> one, two, three. There it goes. Alright. I've done it. Yay. That's my son clapping. Okay. So as you can see, the little gray thing has popped out. Medication is in. Well, y'all, I thank y'all for watching. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Yes, I'm trying to get to a thousand followers. I'm trying to get there. Subscribers, thank you. What would I do without my 10 year old?